Let's move on to the perpetual inventory system. Perpetual, according to the Webster Dictionary, means continuing forever or happening all the time. And that's exactly what happens in this inventory tracking system. Let's repeat our previous example using the perpetual system so you understand how they differ. Assume we know the same things about the month of June. We purchased 25 units on June 1st, so inventory increases. However, we also know that we've sold 20 units on June 12th, so inventory decreases, and there are five units left on hand for future orders from customers. On June 16th, we purchased 52 units, so inventory increased, and we now have 57 units on hand. The five units left over from the last sale and the 52 new units we just bought. On June 18th, we sell another 28 units. So we know that there should be 29 units on the shelf, the 57 units we had before less the 28 we just sold. We already have more information than we did under the periodic inventory system. If the business needs to know how many units were sold by June 30th, they can calculate that a total of 48 units have been sold. That means the business always knows how many units they have sold during a period. If the business needs to know if they should order more of this product, they know how many units are presently in inventory. They can calculate that the inventory purchases less the inventory sold equals the inventory that should be on the shelf. By looking at their inventory account, they could see that they should have 29 units on hand and they don't need to buy any more yet. If the business needs to know at any time what their gross profit margin is, the selling price per unit less the cost per unit times the number of units sold equals their gross profit margin, which in this case would be $1,440. This tells the business if sales of this product are profitable, allowing them to decide if prices should be changed or if they should reduce the price to be more competitive and still remain profitable. If businesses use the perpetual inventory system, do they still need to count their inventory at period end? After all, they already know that they have 29 units left on hand from their inventory system. Do they really need a count as well? Absolutely. The perpetual inventory system tracks your inventory purchases and sales, but it can't track what is stolen, what errors your employees make, or the damaged inventory that is thrown away without being recorded. So you count your inventory once a year and discover that 26 units are remaining. What can you do with this information? You can compare it to the number in your perpetual inventory system. Remember that your inventory system tells you that you should have 29 units, the 77 you bought less the 48 you sold. Compare your system to your inventory count to discover the difference. Here, three units are missing. And if the difference is large, you need to try and find out why. It could be that they're stolen, but it could be human error when entering the purchases and sales. Also, Inventory could have been damaged and thrown away without anyone recording it. Because you know there is a difference, you can investigate why the difference exists. Let's summarize the perpetual system's tracking of inventory. Using the perpetual inventory system, you record all your inventory purchases when they happen. You also record all your inventory sales when they happen. This means that inventory quantities are constantly updated and known allowing you, the business owner, to make decisions about inventory requirements. Using that information, you can calculate the gross profit margin, which is sales less the cost of inventory. You can do that at any time during the period. This allows the business owner to make decisions about pricing and profitability whenever they want or need to. Once, at the end of every year, businesses using the perpetual inventory system must still count their inventory. This is so they can verify that their perpetual inventory system is correct and make adjustments if it's not. Are there any disadvantages to the perpetual inventory system? Absolutely. A system that tracks inventory continually means additional costs, both in the form of labor, employees that have to put everything into a computer system, and infrastructure. The business likely has an expensive computer system tracking both purchases and sales of inventory. You've likely seen these. They're called point of sale system and you see one every time you shop at a major retailer like Walmart or Costco. They scan your purchases using a point of sale system. You have now been introduced to both the periodic and the perpetual inventory tracking systems. You also know that choosing a system is important for your business 
so that you can have the inventory on hand that is needed to satisfy your customers, which is a critical success factor for merchandising businesses. Let's check your understanding. Remember to pause the video and answer the question before I tell you the answer. Which of the following businesses is more likely to use the periodic inventory system? The answer is not C. A freight business provides a service, so they would not use an inventory tracking system. The answer is not E. An online hobby store has many products and they need to know what is in stock at all times so that they can meet their customers' needs. The answer is not A. A large and busy hardware store would need to know what to reorder and a perpetual inventory system would give them that information daily. The answer is not D either. A store with many locations would want to send customers to the location that has the inventory, so they need a sophisticated inventory system that would track inventory at all locations. The answer is therefore B, a bakery. They make their own inventory, such as cookies and cakes, and when they are sold out for the day, well, their inventory is gone. They don't need a sophisticated inventory tracking system. The periodic system would tell them how many they sold every day, and that's the information they need to decide how many to make for tomorrow. You have now learned everything you need to know about the periodic and perpetual inventory tracking systems. Depending on which system you use, you need to be able to record inventory purchases and sales. And that's the topic of a future video.